Welcome to Shorty Supercoach. Just thought I'd smash out a little prediction video ahead of the season. non supercoach related this one. It's Tuesday night. I've just finished work. Um, I thought I'd uh, just quickly take a moment, um, yeah, just to do this one because I've been flat out with Supercoach content. But I really wanted to, you know, put through a video of just, just your general Brownlow, uh, Coleman and Premiership tip, you know, nothing too crazy. Um, but yeah, I've been crazy with Supercoach bids which has been good, like I've had, what did I have, Monday and Wednesday off, so that was handy just to do a bit of content, but yeah, I pretty much like, it got to Sunday, and I wrote out all my um, videos that I wanted to sort of cover off on, it was about 10 or so, <laughs> and I was like, shit, I've got like four days to do it here, um, so hopefully you haven't been, um, yeah, too crazy trying to keep up with all my different content, there's about three or four videos a day on some of them, but um, yeah, hopefully it's been good. Hopefully you've been able to watch most of them, and yeah, hopefully there's a few people getting on board, you know, via Supercoach Talk and and uh, the Supercoach 360 page. So shout out if you just recently come on board. But um, let's jump into the prediction, and I guess we'll start with um, the Premiership. And I'm actually tipping the Lions. I think um, you know, I think the time is right for them. They've got a lot of uh, youngsters that are sort of starting to get into their peak and they're, they're already an established side anyway you know I think I'm not always one to subscribe to the fact that you got to lose a couple of finals to get it done but it doesn't help I mean it doesn't hurt I should say you know it sort of gives you a little bit of experience you know you get to know the pain that it feels you get to understand what it takes to get the job done when it truly matters and uh, I just feel like Danaher will be an enormous piece to the puzzle and they've probably been looking for that type of player as well i think their midfield is great they've got harris andrews and a very strong back line um there as well so um you know it's you can mount a good case for the tigers as always you know i'm i'm sitting here hoping the cats can get it done as well but i settled on the lions and uh in terms of a brownlow selection i'll give a couple um and, and i'm gonna go paddy cripps so, you know i'm not really going out on a limb there am i but I think last year he carried a massive load, struggled to touch, you know, had probably a few niggles that we probably didn't even really know at the time. Um, I know there's a few other mids in there at the Blues now, but um, I reckon he's just going to really deliver another stellar season. He's done it before. He, he attracts the umpire's attention just by the way that he plays. So I think the fact that Carlton will win a few more games, That'll certainly help as well. And a bit of a rougher one is Josh Kelly. I actually put a cheeky little fiver on him, but about 51 to 1. Gamble responsibly. <laughs> but um, uh, I thought that was pretty long odds for such a talented player. And I think the Giants, I've actually got them in my eight. I reckon this top seven in whatever order you have it is pretty, um, seems pretty clear anyway. But that eighth spot is certainly up for debate at this stage. Um, there's always a stack of surprises. It's, it's very tough to predict. But I reckon the Giants will still be a strong side this year. And I think Kelly, as you would well know, with my super coach thoughts, I reckon he's in for a great year. In terms of the Coleman, I sort of alluded to it just before. Joey Danaher, um, I know it's a little bit flavour of the month style of selection, but I probably thought it a little while back too. And, and when a bloke gets fit like that, he's always capable and and I just feel like in a good side, he'll get great delivery, plenty of opportunity. And if he stays fit, which is probably the golden question, is it can he actually stay fit? But I reckon he'll be in for a really, really good season. And a bit of a roughie as well, a bit of left field one, Toby Green. I think with the losses to the Giants um, in attack, I feel as if he'll play largely forward, which he often has. But I think he might be more of a focal point now without Jeremy Cameron and a few other guys, you know, are probably just young in that Ford 50. So I think Green could just get a hell of a lot of multiple goals throughout the year. And, you know, it doesn't take too much to be there and abouts in the Coleman medal race these days. So there's a few predictions. Um, it's It's been a great week of vids. It's, it's been a great pre-season of vids. You know, by the time I post this, I'm sure it'll be maybe Thursday or Friday, maybe even Saturday. I'll just see how I'm feeling, try and spread them out a touch. But thanks for all your support. Um, yeah, I've been really pleased with, with the amount of sort of views that, that have been um, coming through, which, which gives me a good indication that people are enjoying the content, and I've certainly enjoyed um, producing it for you. So thanks again. 
and I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers.